So today we're going to do something uh, a little different. We are going to be installing one of these babies, an Amazon day-night motion sensor here. So that light right there is a floodlight that came with the day-night sensor. I want to change it to a motion and day-night sensor. And that's what we're doing today. What we have here is we have a sensor with an oddball wiring. And I say oddball because the wires are basically non-conventional for the United States. We have red, blue, and brown. Now, here typically, normally in the United States, green, bare copper, or brown are ground. Not here, no. Brown here is going to go to the wiring on the house, the hot wire, the black wire. Then you've got your blue and your red. Now red is gonna to go to black on the light fixture. Blue is going to go to common or white on the light fixture. So here's our light fixture. Right now we have a photoelectric eye and it's got three wires, conventional wires. Black goes to the house wire, that's your hot white goes to white and red goes to black. That's about the only thing that's going to remain the same over here. Red is going to go to black, blue is going to go to white, and brown will go to your house wire. So let's get started. Pretty sure you noticed that they use crimp on connectors. So, and by the way, soldering is not allowed on house wiring. That's why all your fixtures always come with crimp on or wire nuts. So these are rather short and I don't want to make them shorter. See if maybe we can loosen this guy up somehow, some way with a little force. You know, this is a job for a hammer. So yeah, I could cut it and I think I will. So let's just cut it right here. There we go. And we still saved a little bit of the wire, so it wasn't a complete bust. Now, for the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply crimping force. These are crimped this way, so I'm gonna crimp them that way in the hopes that it will loosen the crimp and then I should be able to pull this off and save the full length of my wires. So, can I do it? Live on YouTube. Let's try it, see what happens. There we go. Now you'll notice that I'm holding down here and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to pull the wires out this way so you need to hold it right there. And that should do it. Let's see if it does. There we go. So we managed to save some of the wire but not all the wire. This is now going to go in our spare parts. This right here however went from the white wire common up to the fixture. So if you recall, blue and white are going to the same place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip these back in order to use a wire nut. Wire nuts are reversible very easily. So we're going to cut this, strip it, and you'll notice the wire came with it. Nah, that's not a good sign. So um, that means we didn't get all the wires in that bundle. Now this one, no wires. So what we should do is we should strip this one back even further in order to get 
all the wires. <laughs> okay, so you'll see there's the wires that were separated. And we want full, long wires for the wire nut. So let's go ahead and get a little bit extra wiring on the black ones as well. So once again, what are we doing? We're doing, right now, we're going to be doing the common, which is the white wire, in case you guys aren't sure what the terminology is. So the white wire is gonna go one to each light, LED. One, this is gonna feed from the house, the power. Uh, and then we're gonna take a wire nut and feed it to blue. So here we go. One, two, three, and four. In case you didn't know, wire nuts are rated with a rating usually on the container that tells you how many wires and what gauge you can use. So they're not universal, you can't use a single wire nut for every application. So make sure you read that. This is our ground. And now we have red. And if you recall, red is gonna to go to the black. So each light has a black wire, that's your hot. So we're gonna connect the red and the black together. Now, what did I do? I'm premature. Not in that way. Take it easy, people. Calm down. This should have been installed on the fixture first. Oops, going to have to do it again. Make sure you leave the rubber sealing washer on the outside of the housing because that is a rubber sealing washer. Then we're going to take the nut and we're going to put it on and then we're going to thread it, tighten it, and then we'll go back to doing exactly what we just did. So one more time now. We're going to put on, we mount the motion sensor light de detection photoelectric eye all in one unit right there. One more time, we're gonna start with the white wires one more time for no particular reason other than we did that last time. So we wanna be consistent. White to blue, here we go, all right. Get that wire nut on there. I like to get them till they start to twist the wires, then you know it's on. Now, if you want to test them, you could pull and you know put some gentle pressure and see if any of your wires pull out. If they do, you gotta start over. Alright, here we go. Black to black, and oddly enough, black to red. So red is our hot wire. It's actually black, but it's the hot wire. So now one thing that you'll notice is we are going to have two wires that go to the house wiring. One is common, which is tradition or whatever standard or whatever you want to call it is white. And so we have the white. Now the only difference is the Chinese part comes with a brown wire that's actually gonna be black. Now, if you really wanna get technical, you could wrap a piece of black tape on that to let everybody know. But they're gonna know anyway, because once they open this unit up, they're gonna see the brown is going to the black. So there you have it. That's how you wire this sucker up. Now, how do you know if it's wired correctly? Let's give it some power and we'll see. Oops. Set off the motion. It sure does. Success. Now, this is what I was talking about. That's our new part. Nothing to worry about. It already fell. Can definitely feel the crimp crimping. They did a really good job. And it is on there, I gotta say. It's not giving it up. But uh, when people think of applying force, they always think of getting the hammer out. Well, we're not gonna be able to do that. I actually have hammers. I got lots of hammers.